Now, the legal nightmare continues in the Delphi murder case, where we continue to turn our attention to the actual legal intertwining proceedings and not the actual merits of the case uh, itself. Uh, It turns out now attorneys for suspect Richard Allen are seeking clarity on new contempt of court allegations brought against him by Carroll County Prosecutor Nicholas McLeland. Uh, McLeland has filed a motion last month accusing attorneys Brad Rossi and Andrew Baldwin of contempt of court, citing actions outside of the courtroom that are deemed indirect contempt of court. The allegations stem from Rossi and Baldwin's conduct related to the high-profile case involving the abduction and murder of teenagers Libby German and Abby Williams back in 2017. Scheduled for a hearing on March 18th in front of Special Judge Francis Gull, the allegations have uh, prompted Rossi and Baldwin's legal counsel, represented by attorney David Hennessy, to petition for further clarification on the nature of these uh, charges. Hennessy's petition highlights the lack of specific, uh, specificity in uh, McLeland's motion, which has been most of this case. Like, let's charge Richard Allen with more crimes, even though we have no more evidence. Let's go after the attorneys, even though there's really no reason to. Particularly regarding what actions were deemed contemptuous. For instance, McLeland referenced a news release issued by Rossi and Baldwin in November of 22, prior to the uh, imposition uh, or uh, imposition of the uh, gag order without specifically specifying its contemptuous nature, which attorneys can put out press releases. And if there's no gag order after the fact, that's a little different, but there wasn't one at the time. It seems clear that the state is really attempting to charge indirect criminal contempt. And as he stated in the petition, suggesting that the possibility of separate criminal contempt proceedings According to state guidelines, criminal contempt may carry penalties of imprisonment and fines. Necessitating stating the distinct legal process initiated by the state. This is insane. Mm-hmm. So they're going to try and like what imprison the attorneys now? They're, put, they're supposed to go to jail. Let's put them in maximum security with Richard. I'm really. Oh, wouldn't that be something? I, I, I don't think anyone wants to go to Indiana. Like that's not a place. It's like it sounds like a third world country, the way that their legal system works. I think you're better. Well, it sounds worse than Mayberry. Yeah. Or Mexico. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, it really kind of does. As of now, McLeland has not initiated separate criminal contempt proceedings, leaving the status of the allegations uncertain. Hennessy's petition also seeks guidance on the nature of the upcoming hearing, questioning whether it will solely involve an advisement of specific allegations or include testimony and evidence presentation. Special Judge Francis Gull, overseeing Allen's murder case, has yet to respond to the petition because she's really not up on anything ever, uh, yeah. leaving both the defense and prosecution awaiting further clarification on the contempt allegations. Even though the fucking Supreme Court has said, uh, you better get your shit together, get these filings up the way they're supposed to be, and then suddenly did it. It's like a child where like you gotta like, you're not gonna get your allowance unless you do it like, okay, I'll go do it my chores right now. That's yeah. a lot like what Gaul seems to be like. I, the part that's striking me is I guess I can't, I'm, I'm racking my brain and I haven't looked it up, but I'm trying to figure, it, has there been a case where the attorneys need to get attorneys for themselves? <laughs> there has, but not anything we've really covered. Uh, but yeah, attorneys for attorneys, when they really didn't do anything, I mean, the we, right. we know what happened. There was a leak out of their office. That's already been addressed. And if you just take a look at the facts of it, they weren't out there trying to leak shit. It, it, right. Somebody nefarious got in there, got a hold of those pictures. They got out. Luckily, they didn't even like, I know that they acted like they leaked everywhere. They didn't. They didn't go anywhere. Um, but they, obviously it shouldn't have happened, but we are talking someone who went into their office, into their conference room, got this stuff. It wasn't like it was left at a urinal at the fucking seven 11. It's it, in reality, it wasn't that, that bad of a, a thing. And it wasn't really a reflection of the two attorneys that are representing him. The Supreme court said that they believed the reason that they reinstated them was because it did not rise to the level of having to, to kick them off the case. They disagreed with goal on that one. But Gull's back in charge of everything now. And God knows Gull doesn't want to be wrong on anything. So who knows where this goes? It, it's funny because the, there was this issue of those leaked documents or that those leaked images. Uh, what's Gull's response going to be to the uh, the investigators who lost the evidence, who lost the video oh, right? of, of the potential murderers that they interviewed the week of uh, that are Odinists? And now that video just happens to be deleted. Can't find that anywhere. How about that? Are we going to go after the 
how do we are we going to go after them? Because that seems to be a little bit worse when the the evidence is just completely gone. That could be exonerating for Richard Allen, but I'm sure you know they're all part of the same team, so everybody's going to back each other up in the madness that is Delphi, Indiana. You know, and I feel like we and and not that I I'm not making light of the situation. There are two dead teenagers and families that are grieving. Let's remove them from the situation and take a look at what's been going on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I feel like we could do Delphi bingo of all the the bullshit things that have happened. And, you know, we'd still find new things. Do we have a list of all of the (laughs) imperfect things that have happened? Because this surprised me. I for some reason, I'd forgotten about this part. Mm -hmm. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? There's more. Yeah, yeah, there is more. There's quite a bit more. There's always more. Every other week, there's there's something new and horrible and completely bizarre that play into the conspiracy that there's a cover up going on of some sort here, and it's just constant, you know, go la 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 la, nothing's happening. Look the other way. Uh, it's it's nuts. There there's we've got two dead teenagers and families that have been <clears throat> ripped apart. Let's get to this and let's do it properly for their sake and the family. Well, this is just dumb. That would require people thinking about things other than themselves. And I think what we've learned here that in Delphi, Indiana, that's not a common way of living. Want to listen ad free? Want advanced access to all of our interviews before anyone else? Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. You get every episode commercial free. So you can binge on True Crime. Until you can binge no more. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts now. Or go to our podcast page and sign up now. More of the Hidden Killers podcast next.